Let's go live to Toronto Police Headquarters where police and crime stoppers are launching a new awareness campaign about organized retail theft. ...and service the Toronto Crime Stoppers board and team surrounding Crime Stoppers programs. Members of the community, stakeholders, our policing partners and you, the media. Thank you all for your continued support and partnership in the Toronto Crime Stoppers program. At this time, I would like to introduce the chair of the Toronto Police Service Board, Anne Morgan, to share her remarks. Thank you, uh, everyone. Uh, Chief Demke, uh, Toronto Crime Stoppers Board uh, Chair, uh, Sean Sporton, honoured guests, Mr. Rui uh, uh, Rodriguez, Executive uh, Advisor to the Retail Council of Canada, members of the Toronto Police Service, and members from the community who are here. On behalf of the Toronto Police Services Board, I'm pleased to be here today for the Organized Retail Crime Campaign Media launch, helping to bring awareness to an issue of extreme importance. Today's launch provides an excellent opportunity to shine a spotlight on a crime many of us don't really know about, but one has a tremendous impact on both our communities, but also on our safety. Organized retail crime refers to the theft and resale of merchandise from retail stores, a crime typically carried out by organized groups and not what we know as um, individual shoplifters. The effects are both varied and numerous and they are devastating to the community. Organized retail crime poses significant safety risks to both store employees, consumers, and it leads to the sale of both stolen and counterfeit goods, some of which can be dangerous, expired, repackaged, defective, or incorrectly stored. We often think of high-end items, uh, but this includes things like baby formula, over-the-counter medications, and other health and beauty items, which can uh, become a risk to individuals who purchase these off-market. Organized retail crime can also lead to increase in violence and other serious criminal activity where people and criminal networks use force, threats, intimidation to steal m merchandise or money. In addition to defrauding retailers, threatening workers, decreasing choice and increasing cost to consumers, many of these organized retail crime networks use their illegal proceeds to fund human trafficking, drug trafficking, and even terrorist organizations. Notably, this campaign was created by Toronto Crime Stoppers, but also in collaboration with our community partners, Toronto Police Service, Retail Council of Canada, Garda World, and the Community Agency. The Crime Stoppers program delivers a vital service by providing investigators with an impressive volume of beneficial tips and it saves the police forces both time and money. Today it's more important than ever that we work together to combat and reduce this serious crime. Organized retail crime is complex and sophisticated. It doesn't just often on a local level in Toronto, it's regional, national, international, and responsible for tens of billions of dollars losses each year, which of course translates to the consumer. In order to be successful, the community response must be complex, sophisticated, and based on a comprehensive, multi-sector, and fully collaborative approach. Our board's very proud of the Crime Stoppers program. It is an extraordinary example of a power of a successful partnership with the police, community, and Crime Stoppers themselves. We're proud, true, that Crime Stoppers is dynamic and progressive, and it's constantly changing to deal with the issues here in Toronto as they change on the landscape of cr criminal activity. Since its original campaign in 2013, Toronto Crime Stoppers and its partners have been working diligently to raise awareness and deter criminality related to organized retail crime. As we know, Toronto Crime Stoppers slogan, see it, say it, stop it, is simple and it's powerful. The underlying philosophy of that is 
doing the right thing is just its own reward. And it continues to mobilize the community to anonymously report information on crime, including organized crime. And of course, without the community, there'd be no tips, which are the very foundation of this very impressive initiative. So for all of you out there who are making a role in this amazing program work, of all the partners, so thank you. Together we're ensuring Toronto remains and still is one of the safest cities in the world. Thank you. Thank you, Chair Morgan, for your remarks. At this time, I'd like to invite Toronto Police Chief Myron Demke to share a few words. Good morning, everybody, and uh, thank you, Constable O'Neill, for uh, looking after uh, coordinating today's efforts, and thank you, uh, Mr. Sean Sporton. Uh, from Toronto Crime Stoppers um, for the amazing work both of you are doing to help raise awareness on the impact of organized retail crime. Thank you as well to Chair of Toronto Police Service Board and Morgan for being here today and supporting this very important campaign. I'm also pleased uh, to look around the room and see our police officers and other members of the service joining us here today for this important event. And I'd like to thank some of our other partners, including the Retail Council of Canada and all of the members of the media who have come out today. Toronto Crime Stoppers depends on the media to help raise awareness of their campaigns. And I'm very grateful to all of the members of the media who are here today raising awareness. Thank you for consistently helping us get messages out to our communities and letting them know how they can connect with Toronto Crime Stoppers. Organized retail crime is costing Canadian businesses $5 billion a year. And the campaign slogan, it costs us all, really drives home an important point. These crimes are in fact costing all of us because they drive up the prices on products that we purchase on a regular basis. Organized retail crime may not be something that the average person thinks about very often. However, it is a growing problem across Canada and it impacts all of us in different ways. Most people will feel the impact as the costs of commonly targeted products continue to rise disproportionately. For others, organized retail crime will impact their health, their safety, and their well-being. For example, it's estimated that two out of every five organized retail crimes involve violence. These are not victimless crimes. In some cases, they pose a significant risk to the safety of our communities, including employees in the retail sector and consumers who may be present when these crimes occur. I encourage anyone and everyone who has information about organized retail crime to please consider contacting Toronto Crime Stoppers and anonymously providing information. Thank you again for being here today. Thank you, Chief Demke, for your remarks. Well, we've been listening to members of Toronto Police uh, at the headquarters. Uh, they've been providing an update alongside Crime Stoppers launching a new awareness campaign about organized retail theft.